show how to fix surfboard using uh, UV curing resin. There's a couple different options you have between solar res, quick fix, uh, they have epoxy stuff for epoxy boards. The first thing you want to do when you're um, getting your board ready to use solar res or uh, other UV curing resins is to make sure the area is really cleaned out and you can see in there there's a lot of dirt and pieces of fiberglass from where the board uh, got broken on the reef. So I'm going to clean that out first and break off the scraps of fiberglass so it can be ready to uh, be fixed up. A subtle sunrise in your beautiful eyes A sunny silhouette and a whistle in the wind You want to make sure that the area around it is sanded really well so that the resin uh, sticks well to the board and doesn't just come off in a big chunk after it's all dry and finished, which I've had happen before. Though I'm breaking ties, I'm still mesmerized. And you can bet that you do it all again. Okay, for this next part, you're going to want to move inside because solar res cures in about two to five minutes once it hits sunlight or well just the UV rays it doesn't even need the sun right now it's cloudy outside but this will work just fine so get your solar res or whatever you're gonna use out your resin and have something to spread it with preferably something you can throw away because you're probably gonna have it hardened with resin afterwards and you're just gonna wanna get the resin onto the spot that you want and it's kind of runny sometimes when it's not curing so if you put too much it will really glob on there and it'll just run right off so have something so it can drip and you want to work with that right away to get it into the spot that you want it doesn't matter if uh, you, if it's really bubbly and and on parts of the board you don't want it, because afterwards you'll sand it down all the way till it's flush and even with the edges of your board. So it looks like you need a little bit more on that one spot. For a larger ding like this, you'll want to probably do it more than once. You'll let one coat cure and you'll flip the board over, do the other side. Make sure there's no bubbles in there. You can just push it out and smear it around. And then you can do it again afterwards. So make sure you get the ding filled completely before you sand it. Okay. I'm gonna run this outside. Oops, got a drip going. Okay. Okay, so I've brought the board outside. I put it up where it's exposed to the UV rays. You can see that it starts to leak a little bit. And as it's hardening, you can do some fine tuning, I guess, some uh, little adjustments here. You can smear this stuff around and make sure it's hardening in the right spots. But you don't want to pull it up too much so that you get air bubbles. So there you go. You can see there. You can see that I don't have that spot filled in yet. I'm going to do that on the second time. Up top here, it's lower than I want it to be, but I'll have to do a second layer to uh, fill that in since it's such a big ding. 
So the resin will cure in about two to five minutes in the sunlight. Um, but right now, as you can see, there's not much sunlight. It's a little cloudy. So it still works. Just gotta wait a little bit longer. Fixing the rail here on this board. You can't see it much. There's a crack. It's been leaking pretty badly. So I'm also gonna redo this patch here. And we'll get the nose done on that board down there when it's all finished. This board is ready for this section here for its second coat. Make sure we can fill in this whole ding since it's a big one. Just add a little bit more in there so we can fill it out. That way we can shape the tail back to the way it was before put this hole in it. shape the resin in there. It, it runs a lot as I said so just gotta keep messing with it and when you get out into the sun again play with it a bit more till you get it exactly how you want it to dry. I'm gonna move this board back outside now. Alright this board has got its second coat drying right now. Still need to fix up this bottom part right there. I'm gonna wait for it to completely dry and then do one more. So the board's getting a lot harder, or this, uh, <laughs> so the resin's getting a lot harder here. Not sticking anymore. So I'm going to sand it down one more layer and should be good after that to sand down for the finished product. Once your resin hardens from sitting out in the sun, you're gonna want it'll you'll be able to tell that it's ready to be sanded. It's super hard and that's the next step, sand it down. It works best if you have an electric sander because there's a lot of resin that builds up right there and it takes a really long time to get rid of it by hand. But it goes really fast with a little electric sander. Although I don't mind falling far behind Finding ways just to make it through the day And I don't need more time Things are working fine Just a simple no will get me on my way Alright, once you have it sanded down You can see it there through that where it used to be all chipped out. And it's just one solid piece right there. Boards ready to go, sir. No more leaks. Good as new. Tell me what to do again. Oh, won't you tell me? And then you'll see that I'm fine with only me now that you're gone. Product once again, all sanded down, all, pa all patched in right in there. And I just got back from surfing, Rocky Point. No leaks, not wet at all. Worked great. Look here on the nose. Let's check this out. I'm still gonna sand that one down a bit more, but also not leaking. Working good. You can bet that you do it all again. 